Hello guys, I'm just uh, doing a fish room update, kind of. Uh, I got a lot of plants, so you can see that. That's my new uh, water wisteria I got shipped, and I kind of went plant crazy. I got a little jar, or a big jar, with uh, my first try at the soiled tank with uh, thick gravel on top. It's a little thicker than I probably should have got, but I was so tired of sand that I didn't get it. And it looks like you can even see it's been, I don't know, maybe a week and that wisteria has roots all over. Like down in the middle right there. There, you can see it right there. Then I have some type of sword, like a... When I bought it, it said a pygmy sword, but I don't know how pygmy it is. It's just right there. And it looks okay. It's got some shoots on the bottom. And that's growing out pretty well. Uh, I've got some java fern. I just, I just planted it. I had it just kind of floating around. And I... It should be enough. Just close to dirt. I saw a really nice video. I can't remember who it was. But he just stuck his java fern close enough to the dirt for it to reach it. And then I got another one right here that I'm going to attach to this piece of driftwood. That I, uh, I'm going to attach it and I poked a couple holes, poked a lot of holes in it with a knife to rough it up so the ruts could grab. Uh, right here's a cool little project. I heard something about terrestrial java moss, so I decided to look for some moss by my... I found some moss, and it doesn't... it looks pretty green, not not in here it doesn't, but it's been submerged for probably close to two weeks, and the other stuff deteriorated pretty dang quick, but this, this thicker stuff has been doing pretty well. And it even has a little green shoot. So, here, stick my hand in there, grab it. But yeah, it looks, it looks fine. I don't know what the roots are doing. I'll have to keep you updated on that, but it, it looks just like it did when it, when it came out. Maybe not quite as green, I'm not sure. And then that little, that little, whatever this is just sprung up so whatever that is can survive under can thrive underwater so I'll figure out what that is that'll be cool see what hatches in there I really another thing is like I once made did cocoa mats for plants and it all kinds of junk grew out of it so thinking it it's kind of cool like, some terrestrial seeds and stuff will grow. Uh, I've got a cichlid that is in kind of quarantine because he kills everything. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna dirt this. Right now it's sand, and sand is awful for small ch When you have to use a hose and a bucket, there's sand everywhere. You can never get sand out of anything. Like, here is a bunch of sand just sitting there because it never comes off. I don't know why. I put some gravel in there to build up some bio, a bio load before I switch all the gravel out because it's a pretty small tank. It should be fine with the sponge filter. But uh, then I have these guys which I just stole the light out of. I need to get rid of them. They're too big for the tank. And I just threw in some PVC pieces I have for caves. Uh, it's a little bit of Africans. I got some Africans in those jars, and they grew pretty damn big. They were fry when I got them. So, uh, one sec, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring the light over here. They were fry when I got them, and now they're not. I'm gonna make a part two so I can put the light on.